Hello guys and welcome to the garage. I am here because I wanted to show you something new. So let's go in. Look at that. Probably for now you don't know what that is. But I know, this is pretty cool stuff. And I'm going to attach it to the bike up there, the Kawasaki W800. So let's go. Here is my bike. And now I'm going to take this and attach it here. So, Maybe you will realize what that is. Let's take a look at that mess. We've got this thing. We've got, I prepared this thing, which is, yeah, the cover and that ring and also, and also that. So what is that, my friends? is the Enfields, Royal Enfields, Tripper Navigation, which I adapted to fit the Kawasaki W800. So I made all the brackets and covers and it's ready to fit to the bike. And yes, the Tripper Navigation can work on the other bikes, if you know how to do it. So let's go to the bike and let's check how it looks like. Well, actually, I think it looks really, really good. Of course it does, because it was my idea to do it and my execution. <laughs> and you know why I decided to create this thing and to attach it to my Kawasaki? The truth is I received a lot of advertising from another company which is selling a similar navigation with just the direction displayed uh, on the screen, which is black and white screen with just one arrow, not showing many information there. And I simply thought it's a good idea. I like this sort of navigation. Except it was kind of too expensive, 150 quid for something like that. And then I saw uh, the tripper navigation from Enfield. And I thought, hold on, this is actually much better. It's giving you much more information and it looks better as well. And then I saw that Tim uh, from the, uh, the Caffeine Racer UK shop started selling those. I will give you the link to his shop in the description. But anyway, I decided to buy it, because it was much cheaper than Beeline. I've paid 111 uh, for the standalone navigation. And yes, here we are. I attached it to the bike. And actually, I hope it will be working, because that's my idea that it should. So let's check it out and let's hope for the best. And yes, I have to say that I think it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Okay, so now it's time to check if that's working. Let's take a look what will happen. And yes, my friends, it's working. It's got the power, uh, it didn't blow up in the air and it's showing me the time right now, which I don't need because I've got another clock on my Kawasaki. Anyways, never mind that, we now need to connect it to the mobile phone. And it requires some shenanigans, but anyway, yeah, let's start the rail and fill up, then you need to pair it with the device. And here we are. Uh, let's make it short because you can find many videos with how it's done, how it's connected. So never mind that, let's jump to the navigation itself. Okay guys, so what we've got here, this is connected and now I need to show you something. Okay, let's go to the fuel station, let's say yeah and get directions. See? Navigate. Follow the route for 0 0.4 miles. See that? So it's brilliant. It's working. Full success. It looks good and it's working. And I like the idea of such a small navigation with just simple directions like that. With clearly visible arrows and stuff like that. What do you think? And let's check if the bike is still running. So 
guys. This is really good. I think that will work as a treat. So thanks for watching and see you next time. And if you've got any questions about the navigation or how to use it, just drop me a line in the comments section.